Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Room Service Mukbang or Order Room Service with me. I'm on the TUI Cruises Mind Shift Spy and it's been a really interesting, exciting adventure. It's um, day five or day six and the weather is not very nice outside. I hope that there's enough light coming in but it's totally overcast. There's white caps everywhere and They've put the bags out in the hallway on the railing, so you know what that means. And I better get this finished before things get crazy. Let me show you what I got, and then I'll tell you why we're not ordering together after I start eating. Here is my panini with cream cheese, peppers, tomatoes, onions, lettuce, and guacamole. My fries with ranch dressing. My vegetarian chili with croutons. And the muffin and I think that's a mini cheesecake. I honestly don't know, but it looked pretty. So let's dig in. I'm gonna put the dessert over here, first of all. And here's one thing, uh, I got this from the buffet and brought it down here. And in the buffet at the moment, you get your silverware and napkin in a paper bag that you, yeah, so like to be sure that nobody else has touched the silverware. And isn't it better that way? You know, I hate when I go to a restaurant and the silverware is all like, you know, like in a mug on the table and the people who were sitting there before me might have taken them all out and licked them or something and put them back in there. Why can't it always be like this? Isn't this better? So normally when I do these videos, we, I sit down and I look at the room service menu with you and then we call and wait for it to come. Sorry, I'm making all these silverware noises and I know they're always so loud and I'm gonna be so mad at myself when I'm editing this together. So the reason that we're not ordering uh, today together is because I cheated and I looked at the room service menu already and there's nothing on it that I wanna eat. And I'll tell you guys what's, it, it's also just a really, small menu to tell you the truth. And I don't know if it's always like that on this ship or if it's just because of the current situation, but they it's almost all meat related. And it's just like small things. So like I could have gotten, like if I would have ordered from this menu, I'm gonna eat a fry in the meantime, I would have gotten a little thing of olives and a plate of toast. And everything else is like meatballs or they even have caviar and so I thought it'd be more fun to actually have something to eat with you guys and so that's why I just went up to the buffet and grabbed a bunch of stuff and brought it back down here so I know this is gonna taste good I'm gonna start with the chili here and what do we have here a big chunk of zucchini, a carrot. I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever seen a vegetarian chili recipe that had zucchini in it. Carrots, maybe. Anyways, here's the first bite. Oh, tastes like chili though. What is this? There's something else in here. I think there's like, that might be a sweet potato actually. I better not look too close. Oh no, that's a crouton. It just got bigger. I'm not sure which order I'm going to have uploaded these videos, but because I know that people are very curious about it, I'll let you know that there is a buffet it's set up just like normal, but in addition to getting your silverware in a paper bag, at each station you get like a buddy from the crew and they go down the line with you and you tell them, so a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And they put everything on your plate for you. So when I got this put together, I had to think about in what order I should go to what station to get as much on like a plate as possible because I had to carry it down back out through the buffet and down two flights of stairs to get here and then I couldn't open the door so I had to set 
the desserts down on the floor, open the door, come in, set this down really quickly over there. And then in those few seconds that I was in here, of course, the people next door came out of their cabin and they saw this plate of desserts just sitting on the floor in the middle of the hallway. So I'm glad they didn't take it. I can't imagine what they were thinking, but I'm sure they heard me. They heard that I had just opened the door and I'm sure they figured it out. The food has been good. Um, the quality in the buffet has been good. The selection is only so-so. I mean, what they have is good, but it just doesn't change a lot. It's a lot of the same thing. So compared to other ships I've been on where like every day there's a new culinary adventure, it's not necessarily like that here. And it's kind of like it, like what it is on MSC or what I've experienced on MSC, that the food in the buffet doesn't change very often, but what's being offered and how it's prepared is definitely much better on this ship. This is, oh, you know what? I forgot to ask you guys. Are you eating something? I know a lot of you like to make your breakfast or lunch or maybe dinner and then sit down and we like have dinner together so as always if you are eating write your menu in the comments below what was i gonna say oh yeah one interesting or two interesting things about the food offered in the buffet one is i have not one time seen pizza being offered and that seems strange to me how, I mean, pizza is like a staple of cruise ship buffets, of buffets anywhere, so anywhere, there's always pizza. Mm. And they have a special area for the kids, and it's not offered on the kids' buffet either. So, another thing that I haven't seen, speaking to the, speaking to and of the desserts, is there has not one day been a piece of chocolate cake. No chocolate cake. Huh? Not one day. I don't know if there's like a chocolate shortage uh, here in Northern Europe, Scandinavia or something. No idea, but no chocolate cake. They do, however, and you'll see this in the videos, have in the buffet and on the pool deck a huge selection of gelato. I'm talking like probably 18 or 20 flavors of gelato. And it's so good. And included in the price of the cruise. And that's amazing. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of uh, like chili uh, juice in here so I can maybe dip my sandwich in it. There's the panini. I gotta think thumbnail. I don't know there I can't do a cheese bowl because it's cream cheese, but it's taken so long for me to, you know, put it all together, come back down, set this all up that it's obviously cold by now. But they had a lot of different things. They have different cheeses you can put inside. It's kind of like a Subway, actually. And I think that's pretty cool. Reminded me of one of the other cruises we did this year on the Carnival Sunrise. Sunshine was, um, they also have a sandwich bar and they had like four or five sandwiches that you could just get freshly made. And what they also had, which I'm kind of missing right now, is they had four different kinds of mayo. They had like, like spicy chipotle mayo, maybe Parmesan mayo, and then truffle. And that was so good, I put that on everything. Somebody wrote to me saying, Morgan, you know that's probably 
synthetic truffle. And I'm fine with that, as long as it's not like made out of ground up, you know, like beetle wings or something like that. It tasted amazing. And I asked for just a little bit of onions, and he started putting way too many onions on, and I said, oh, no, that's too much, and he took, like, like a tiny little bit off. And for my discerning palate, there's still too many on here. Uh. And I'm doing something this afternoon that I promised I would never do again. Hmm. I'm going to the spa to get a massage, and I don't want to eat too many onions for reasons that I don't have to explain. Out of the pepper. Um, Marcus has cruised with this cruise line before, actually on this ship, and he said that he couldn't remember, well, he did go to the spa while here on board. Um, he said that he didn't remember them being as pushy trying to upsell things like we've experienced on other ships. And surprisingly enough, the worst and the most uncomfortable ever was on the Disney Dream. Very un-Disney-like to be treated the way those ladies treated us. But as I found out and made a video about later, that's not, the spas on most of the big cruise ships are not run by those, like, cruise lines. So the spa on Carnival and the spa on Disney, they're both run by the same external company. And the women, the men and women who work there, it's so much a part of the um, company culture that you have to upsell a service or a product because that is a way to increase your your pay to like a reasonable amount, and that's why they're so pushy about it. But it really shouldn't be like that. Who is it good for? You know what I mean? Um, the women, um, Margaret and I got a partner massage on the Disney Dream, and they were so pushy. I felt like they were going to block the door and continually guilt trip us until we bought some cream for $24. That really left a bad taste in my mouth. Unlike this panini, which is doing exactly the opposite. Good. So far, so good. I'm going to have some more fries. And before I move on to the second little panini here, I'm going to put a little commercial break right here. Did you get one? What was it for food? <laughs> I'm going to try to take some more of the onions off here. Although this side looks pretty good. This is the second time I've had a panini made on board. And yeah, they're very generous with the toppings, which is great. What's it like in the United States now? When I go to Subway in Hamburg, they're so skimpy with the toppings. And I remember when Subway first came out in the States back in like the late 80s and 90s, I remember them just piling on the toppings. You know, like you try to eat and it would be like overflowing. And I can't remember the last time I've eaten at Subway in the States now, but I've, I've every once in a while I go to Subway here or at home in Germany. And I feel like they're so skimpy. Like, when you order, you know, when you say, I want uh, black olives, and they're like, one, two, three, four. And if you want cucumbers, then they're like, one, two, three. And I remember, you know, being like, plum, plum, plum. And I feel like that's the way it should be. Like, a real, you know, like, hoagie sandwich which is basically what Subway is, should be like overflowing with toppings and sauce. But where do we get one like that? Oh, in Miami. 
Marcus and I found that really good sandwich shop on the corner there in Miami. Shoot, I can't remember what it's called right now, but I made a video about it. And there, it's like that. You get that bread cut in the middle, and then it's just like, it's almost too much. But I feel like that's how it should be. Anyways, when I ordered my panini last time, two days ago, they have some spicy sauces up there too. And I asked for some spicy sauce and I said just a little bit and he was like <laughs> I was like, stop, 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 stop. And you know, these people who work on board the ships, they're from a lot of them are from countries where the you know, the daily cuisine is just like super spicy and they're used to it, you know, they're from places like India where you know, like the, the normal level of spiciness there is already like way above what somebody like me would be able to tolerate. So for him, that might have been just a little bit, but for me, I was like, stop. Mm. But it did taste pretty good. Um, I went back and got another one, but this time no spicy sauce. It's been a long time since I've made vegetarian chili at home, but making chili is so easy if you've never done it. It's so easy. Mm. All you need, onions, garlic, and if you're gonna make it with meat, meat, and then you need like, it depends on how much you wanna make, but a can of beans, a can of like stewed tomatoes, Maybe some corn, and that's it. And you you saute up the onions and the garlic, put the meat in there, and then you just throw everything in with a little bit of water or maybe some vegetable stock or some, you know, if you're putting meat in it and then some meat stock, and then you just let it cook. Oh, you know what else is good? Some tomato paste. And then, you know, you can pimp it any way you want. You can put, you know, instead of beef, you can put in, like, smoked chicken or something like that, you know? It's so easy. And if you just increase the recipe, then you can make a bunch of it and freeze it. Here I am giving recipes during a cruise ship room service mukbang. If you guys didn't know it, I started a second channel called Guten Morgen. So it's youtube.com slash Guten, G-U-T-E-N, M-O-R-G-A-N. And on that channel, I do a little bit of cooking and I throw cocktails together, I tell stories about crazy things that have happened to me in my life that aren't travel related necessarily. And I've been having a good time doing it, but now that I'm able to travel so much again, it's kind of been on the back burner. My goal was to do two videos a week on that channel as well, and it's been tough just because there's been so much going on here on the travel guides. But if you haven't seen any of the videos over there, you can go there because there's already like... I want to say 15, 16 videos, maybe. And they're all long ones. Like this. Sorry that I keep gazing off into the past, but you know I have, you know, the ocean in front of me. That's looking kind of mad at the moment. And every once in a while, a tanker will go by, or a cargo ship, because we're in a big shipping lane here between... Scandinavia and Germany. So we're on our way back to Germany, and the ships that are going by this way, they're on their way up to like Copenhagen or 
Stockholm or you know someplace in Finland. Here's a quiz. Without googling it, can you name a town in Finland? Just curious. We were in Finland yesterday. Well, we were in Finnish waters. This is a cruise to nowhere, so we boarded in Hamburg and we are um, ending in Hamburg, but nobody's gotten on or off the ship. We did um, dock for about an hour in Stockholm, but yeah, nobody got on or off. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So yesterday, we drove past the shipyard in Turku, Finland, where the Carnival Mardi Gras is. Totally unexpected. I knew that we were going to Turku, because it said it on the itinerary that I got 23 hours before we left, but when I I just didn't connect that that's where the shipyard was and so like a lot of really famous ships have been built there the allure of the seas for example and now the carnival mardi gras is being built there or is built um, and it's sitting there and we we didn't get like super close to it i'm sure you guys have seen the pictures on facebook and also um, the daily video i don't know maybe that's online already too that. I was excited about it. You know how many people in the world can say they got that close to a ship before it's even been launched? How many people in the world at the moment can say at all that they're even on a cruise ship? And I want you guys to know I am not taking it for granted. I'm very thankful. And I've, as hopefully you've seen by now, I've tried so hard to take so much video material to really give you guys some fun stuff to watch. Also to sort of make you feel like you're on a cruise. And I hope I did a good job. Last bite's kind of falling apart. Hmm. So this is how much chili is left. And I'm just gonna sip it out of here like a soup. Not bad. Definitely tomato paste in there too. big tanker ship out here or a cargo ship out here right now. It's going in the same direction as we are, but we're passing it. Like I said, we were close to the shipyard yesterday. And now we're on our way back to Hamburg, so today and tomorrow are totally sea days, meaning we're not like getting close to land at all. And then early Friday morning, back in Hamburg. I mean, all that's happened by the time you see this. But I'm really looking forward to getting back and starting to get these videos online. I mean, is there anybody else at the moment? Think of all the cruise YouTubers that I like to watch, that you like to watch, you know. Now, I'm going to eat some dessert. Um, I think there's going to be, well, it kind of looks like this is going to drip. I want to get that on the couch, so put this on the floor. Here we go. 
Ooh, this looks good. What do you think? Ideally, I would have also gotten some gelato, but of course, by the time I brought that back down here and ate it, it would have been melted, but, you know, I could still, still go get some to be continued. Oh, this is like spongy. And this, actually, I, I can probably just eat this with my fingers. So, oh, it smells like, because of this powdered sugar and because it's, you know, baked, it's it smells like a bakery. It smells, you know what, it smells, it reminds me of funnel cakes. It reminds me of walking uh, through Valley Fair in Minnesota in the middle of the hot summer and getting a funnel cake. Oh! Mm -hmm. Crystal, crystal, crystal energized water. This reminds me of something. It's, yeah, it's more of like a, it's less like a muffin and more like a cake. Does that make sense? No, I mean, it's more like a cake than a cupcake. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's good though. I very rarely eat things like this. Crystal, 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 energized water. Hmm. This is just water, by the way. Water from my energy crystals. Crystal, 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 energized water. If you don't know what that's about, you need to go back and watch the videos from the cabin. So, what kind of fruit is this here? Cherry? Something sort of tart. Hard to identify it. Let's try this. Actually, that's going to fall apart if I pick it up. So. I mean, this is definitely raspberry. There's a raspberry on top of it, but is it a cheesecake or a custard? Let me just try the filling. Custard, definitely. Has that sort of tang to it. It's good. When I cook at home, and I like to cook at home, Marcus and I cook at home, I mean, especially through the quarantine, from like m end of March until, I want to say beginning of June, I think we cooked every meal at home. We did not get takeout, and we didn't go out to eat until, of course, I mean, obviously, but I know that a lot of, there is a lot of, um, no delivery service is still delivering food. We didn't do it. We only cooked at home. And what I wanted to say is, when I cook at home, I never make dessert. Like, never. I can whip up an awesome pasta dish with just whatever's in the kitchen, but I'm just not a dessert guy or a baker, except bread. Maybe I should expand my my repertoire. Where's my napkin? Oh, it's right there. But I have Kleenexes here. 
So I'm getting close to the end here. If you're still here, thanks for watching. And if these are the kind of videos that you really like, then check out my library because there's other videos like this from other cruise ships and also in hotels and resorts I've stayed in that offer room service. Um, yeah. If you're just into food altogether, foodies, my foodie friends out there, then also definitely check out my videos. I focus a lot on food, I guess. But you're going to be disappointed if you're looking for big chunks of meat and bacon mountains and stuff like that because that's not what I focus on because I don't like to eat that kind of stuff. What do you think? Is that one bite? I think so. I'm going to save this. This is going to be my last bite with the real raspberry and the with that whipped cream. So this first, the disappointingly dry corner of it. Here we go. Last bite. Oh, can I get it on here? That was good. Still, you know, the entire thing still doesn't beat the room service I had on the Anthem of the Seas after a fantastic three days in Bermuda. Um, that What did I have? I had a quesadilla, probably some fries. What did I have for dessert? I feel like, I want to say key lime pie because it also didn't have chocolate cake. I don't remember, but... This was pretty good too, and definitely better than a lot of other ones I've had. So that's it, everybody. Are you done with your breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or snack? Or if you're just sitting there, then yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. <clears throat> see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>